The Mortgage Center for Public Service is where the University of Wisconsin-Madison campus connects with community in Wisconsin and well beyond. And we are exploring this peerless example of the Wisconsin idea next on For the Record. Thanks for joining us. I'm Neil Heinen. In addition to being the answer to the question of whatever became of the old Red Gym, the Mortgage Center for Public Service is about as powerful a representation of a 21st century world-renowned university as I can think of. It is very much what the UW is all about, and this year it is celebrating its 20th anniversary. And we are fortunate to have with us the current director and the first director. And I welcome to For the Record, Mortgage Center faculty director and UW political science professor Kathy Kramer and founding director and former dean of students Mary Rouse. And thank you both very much for joining thank me. Thank you, Neil. Good morning. Thank you so much. You. you know, I'm trying to think, Mary, uh, 20 years ago, um, putting this in the context of the mortgage's significant contribution to the UW, this must have been one of their introductory places, right, where they started connecting? Uh, it, it certainly was. And uh, I had the privilege of being sent by Chancellor David Ward, uh, along with Don Gray from the UW Foundation, to stay with the mortgages for a long weekend in 1994 in May and we presented or I presented two proposals one was for the historic preservation and adaptive use of the Red Gym and the other was for an endowment to expand and strengthen our public service programs so that was 1994 and in 1996 we announced the Mortgage Center for Public Service so that's how we get to the 20th anniversary and so how does it look today compared, was this the vision? Is what we see today the vision of, of the mortgage center? This was certainly the vision and again Chancellor Ward appointed me and the former Dean of Letters and Science uh, to a committee to explore what we needed to do in public service again to strengthen and expand it and it's going just great and we've had great great leadership. And, and still do, Kathy Kramer. Oh, define it. You, De define the Mortgage Center. Tell people what it's all oh, about. Oh, the Mortgage Center is this gem of a place on campus, both physical and just in spirit, where the idea that the University of Wisconsin is all about serving the broader good is alive and thriving and well every day. So that's sort of what it is in, in theory. And in practice, what it is is lots of students and faculty and staff getting involved in community community engaged work whether that's volunteering in the community um, or uh, doing public service through courses or doing research that's involved with a community near or far. So it's a lot of different activity and it's a, just a great hub of a lot of different types of community engaged work going on on yeah. that campus. I don't know if this is relevant or not, but just in terms of context, the fact that I mean, there have been a few changes and now it is connected to the School of Education, right? That's right, And yep. so does that influence how the, how the center operates? Not so much how it operates, but it is a great it is a great connection for us. For one, our School of Education at UW Madison is all about public service. I mean, it is a school of public education, and there's ver from people doing research in collaboration with a community partner or a school district, or students um, in in that are school of ed majors getting involved in the community to the leadership in the school of ed itself being very public minded and wanting to connect with school districts and communities mm -hmm. um, around the globe as well as here in Wisconsin. It's very it's a great fit for us and the the relatively new dean Diana Hess is a great leader and very outspoken in, in the sense of the school of ed being um, a community engaged school within a very community engaged institution yeah. so it's been a great fit. I, I just add that um, we're a connector. Uh, we take uh, the campus into the community and bring the community into the campus and again locally, statewide, nationally and internationally. The Wisconsin idea by definition, yes, right? Yes, in practice 24-7. Yeah, but you know I look at what's going on Mary and, and even I'm just fascinated by the breadth and scope of some of the things that are, that, are, that are happening at the Mortgage Center. And yet, you know, I think a lot of people would be at least familiar with the word service learning. I mean, I don't know if they know exactly what that means, but it's been part of education talk for mm -hmm. decades now. Um, it's probably more sophisticated and, and more global than it was. But, you know, help us think through even, even 20 years ago, why it was so important to 
create an entity where students would have that formal connection to community. Well, service learning and community-based research, or the current term is community-based learning, uh, that pedagogy is rooted in the historically black colleges and the faith-based colleges. And only for the last 25 to 30 years has it come into our major public institutions. And so um, when you think about the Mortgage Center, think about community-based learning, think about two wings of a bird. The one wing is the wing with which we're all familiar, volunteerism, as it were. I don't like that word because it's a one-way word. I always <laughs> take, uh, I get more from uh, my volunteer work than I than I give. But so that's the the co-curricular that's very well developed. Everybody understands that. Uh, the other wing is the community-based learning, where uh, the the faculty member connects with a community partner, and together they figure out an issue or a project that the community uh, organization needs to get done and then they have students so they have good good capacity and so it's a, a wonderful equation that integrates learning from the community into the curriculum and it builds on the syllabus of the course and Kathy's a great example she teaches citizenship democracy and difference which is uh, what now it's been uh, 15 or 16 15, years yeah. Yeah. And, and so that's the equation mm -hmm. community partner faculty member group of students but it identifies and and addresses a community identified need. Mary, I, I was um, I was reading a piece of the uh, uh, interview that the Cap Times did with you last year, and you mentioned New Orleans recovering from Katrina as a kind of a, a an example of this. Talk about that. That that's absolutely correct. I mean, uh, we know uh, how devastating Katrina was, and there are a number of universities, uh, Dillard, Xavier, in New Orleans, and uh, the the community has mobilized again the students faculty and staff to help rebuild New Orleans after Katrina and it's a you know it's a fairly inexpensive way uh, to build capacity and get help from all those uh, students that uh, really want to pitch in and help and learn sure well I want to I want to talk about what the Mortgage Center is doing today and talk about the 20th anniversary and we're going to do that when we come back right after this This is For the Record, and my guest this morning, Mary Rouse, the former Dean of Students and the founding director of the Mortgage Center for Public Service, and Kathy Kramer, who is the current faculty director of the Mortgage Center and professor of political science, and we are celebrating 20 years of the Mortgage Center this year. Um, and just, you know, have, talk about some of the work that's being done there, Kathy. Oh, I'd love to. It's, <laughs> and I have to say, I mean, being the faculty director and just almost at the end of two years now, I, the Morgan Center was thriving when I came into it. And so for me, it's been just a real honor to plunge into this center where there's so many great things going on already. Yep. Yep. So for example, the Badger Volunteers program mm -hmm. has grown enormously in the past eight or so years. So this semester there's 820 students going out into the community to over 70 community partners on a weekly basis. So every week, 820 students going out in teams to work on an, an issue that the community partner has identified. So it's the community partners, nonprofits, municipalities, government agencies. So that's one, just one great thing. Let me just and add, when it started, there were 50 in 2008, there were 50 students, Badger, Badger volunteers. volunteers yeah. And yeah. I think actually there's now a waiting list. Yes, every semester is always a waiting list yeah. too. Just there's more more interest on campus than we can actually meet the needs of. And then there are the courses. So that's all aside from the students doing public service as a as a part of their coursework. So this semester there's 50 service learning or community-based learning courses going on on campus. And then there are also some great um, undergraduate scholarship programs that we help administrate through the Mortgage Center. The Wisconsin Idea Fellowship Program gives students a stipend to um, work on a community-based research project anywhere around the world mm -hmm. that's done in conjunction with a community partner and a faculty member. And then we also have a program right now called the Wisconsin Open Education Community Fellowship. Long name for a cool idea, which is 
um, students get to spend their summers somewhere in Wisconsin working on a great community engaged project and that's funded partly by the division, I should say entirely by the Division of Continuing Studies and the Educational Innovation Program at UW. So there's so much going on. Um, next week we have a day of service going on, totally student driven. The idea we're just going to engage the whole campus in service and um, it's it's really a delight to this see This is an students. anniversary we, event, is it? Or well, pretty much uh, we're doing you do it, a, a do it whole every year. Well, this is the first year we've done it, uh -huh. so um, hopefully it'll continue. Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah, sort of spurred in part by this sense of we've been around for 20 years. What big things can we try this mm -hmm. year, and how can we spread the word about what we're doing, get more students involved, the wider array of students involved, and so um, there's just constantly something new and exciting going on that the students are really driving. And I, I, I would add to that that, you know, there's this incredible tradition of service in our university from uh, its earliest beginnings and it's, of course that's underpinned by the Wisconsin ideas. So uh, there's always been a lot going on. What's happened is all those beaut beautiful beads, if you want to, as, as it were, um, they've been put together in a necklace, so to speak, and the mortgage center is the identified place. So, you know, to a certain extent, I think it's been a catalyst to build on what we already have and then to expand it and move in new directions. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. And, and I think, you know, we've always taken such pride, for example, in our Peace Corps volunteer right. status. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. one of the top providers of Peace Corps volunteers for, for, for such a long time now. But you and I have also talked about this, Kathy, that there's, there's something about the millennial generation, you know, that mm -hmm. this particular group of young people who it seems to me put a premium on community service yeah. and community problem solving, that kind of stuff. Is, it, it, does that, I is think that reflected in... Well, absolutely. So I have a very biased perspective sitting at the Mortgage Center. I'm constantly surrounded by innovative, energetic, public serving students, right? And I would say as a political science professor, that's also the case. But yeah, on the UW-Madison campus is definitely home to students who are trying to address pretty serious public problems through their own creativity. And so, I, yes, I agree with you that um, the millennial generation gets criticized often I think young generations almost always do right they're not quite what we were when we were young right we've all yeah we, we've all been there right, right. <laughs> they're um, they are teaching us a lot you know about how to communicate how to get things done so it's um, it's very uplifting place to work I have to say so for people watching this show who are just um, who are worried about the political climate and the ramifications of it on the budget and its impact Mary you know after 20 years you know how what what, what are your concerns about the future of something like the Morgridge Center you know in in, in this current environment well, you know, I would say that the university has a responsibility to train young people to be leaders, to be good citizens, and to have a lifelong, a lifetime of participation in public service. And I, I frequently say, whether you're a conservative and you think government should be small or a liberal and believe it ought to be large, in fact, we don't have a well-functioning government, a well-functioning democracy, unless lots of ordinary people uh, are involved in public service and it it can be as simple as shoveling your neighbor's walk uh, in a snowstorm or you know it, it, uh, service has a hundred if not a thousand different faces so what we've got to do is uh, what uh, make sure that the value is in public service and um, I don't want to say preach but really promote that and get students engaged by real work, not just talk, but by real work. Yeah, it's just such complicated times, you know, and I think people are looking at what's happening to the extension, for example, another, right. I think, example yeah. of the Wisconsin idea. Oh, sure. So to the extent that they know, uh, you know, about more of those types of things, and it seems like mortgage right. is such a good place to do that. Let me just add that, that students obviously want to be with their peers, and part of the magic of Badger Volunteers is you get to volunteer in teams. So I think teamwork is a, is a key mm -hmm. here with our students. Yeah. Well, then I, I, I'm going to 
Because it's a two-way street here, and, and, and the citizens of Wisconsin have to know what's going on at the mm -hmm. Mortgage Center and, and partner in that. And I think your new mm -hmm. book is, um, gives us some insight into that. When we come back, I want to, I want to talk about that right after okay. this. Twenty sixteen is the twentieth anniversary of the Mortgage Center for Public Service on the UW Madison campus and Mary Ross was one of those who got it going and was the first director. Kathy Kramer is the current faculty director and both are with me talking about the Mortgage Center. Um, and and the environment for public service and the context in which these students are connecting with communities. And I know that it and I, and I think it's so important that this is actually a global relationship and that there are global partnerships. But your new book, which we saw just before the break, The Politics of Resentment, which is just a terrific book, and um, uh, we've been waiting for it for a while here as you've traveled the state, does seem to me, Kathy, to have some relevance to this environment of public service that students are going into in terms of yeah. the issues that communities are facing, and particularly the rural divide, among other things. Right. How does it kind of inform what you're doing at the Mortgage Center. Yeah, well, a variety of ways. I mean, I wish the book that came out of the current context in Wisconsin were called The Politics of Generosity, mm -hmm. right? I, writing about resentment is not a very uplifting thing. And yet, there are many ways in which, uh, there are many things to be hopeful about. So um, it's relevant because I think the resentment that I write about is about divides in our population and about some people feeling as though they're not getting their fair share and resenting people whom they think are getting more than they deserve. And to me, the antidote to that is thinking about the common good and thinking about where in our society we have people who are focused on um, what do we need to do to lift everybody up. What kind of activities do we need to engage in to make sure that we are all better off? And um, it's hard to do when you are entrenched and you're fe you've been feeling resentful for a good long time. But to be around um, the Mortgage Center for Public Service and be working there, I'm reminded on a daily basis that there are forces in our society that are looking out for the public good. Whether it be John and Tasha Mortgage, who are generous beyond belief and supportive in so many different ways and have shown through their financial giving but also their like constant enthusiastic um, compassionate support for the university that it's worthwhile to invest in something that's a public good to also being around the students right who have I mean the students who are investing their time in public service because they believe in it and they think it's important. And yes, it's fun. <laughs> they have a great time and we have a great time being around them. But the students are showing us that public service is still a very important thing. Um, and in that way, I mean, honestly, on a personal level, writing this book and doing this research and then coming to work at the Mortgage Center has been great for me because a lot of what I've been focusing on is pretty depressing but working at the Mortgage Center is just a daily shot of hope. You know, I'm thinking about what you said about volunteerism, Mary, and, and, and getting as much as one gives. Um, what really struck me about the book is, is, is this idea of we learn from each other and the value of listening. And, you know, just, it, it, I, I wonder if, if that isn't such a, a, a value of students going into the community and listening to what people in these communities have to say. And, and and wanting mm -hmm. to be partners, you know, and working on this stuff. You're absolutely right. Here's a personal example, not from a student, but from me. Uh, I, I'm a regular blood donor, so I was donating blood a few years ago. Met a young African American mother whose son has severe sickle cell disease. Um, kept that in my mind. She taught me uh, a lot, and uh, so for the Mortgage Center's 15th anniversary we decided we'd start some sickle cell blood drives. And again, the idea came right from this wonderful young mother. 
And so we thought it was only going to be one year. And this is the, I think, fifth or sixth year now that we're doing these drives. So there's an example. And, and that's the kind of information that students, when they're out in the community, can bring back and uh, take a good idea and uh, roll with it. Do you get, do you get people calling from around the state or even around the world mm -hmm. asking for the mortgage center to partner with something? Sure, for sure. You welcome that. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yes. And um, we can't uh, always meet the needs of what people are asking for, but sometimes what they're asking for is um, an explanation of how we've set up a program or how we've approached a certain type of community service program. And, you know, we're more than happy to offer that. And I should say, you know, part of the great thing about the Mortgage Center is the just extremely dedicated staff that yeah. have been there who, so, I mean, I <laughs> thank them every day because they uh, show me what's what. But they're um, very generous with their time. And so we we welcome people contacting us. And if the great thing about, I mean, there are many great things about the University of Wisconsin-Madison, but the Mortgage Center, as Mary is saying, is a hub. And so we're not, you know, we convene a lot of people, but we are just a hub of a great variety of community-engaged work going on on campus, whether you're talking about the med school or school of social work, school of human ecology, I mean, it's everywhere. And so a lot of what we do is channel those calls to the entity on campus that can best meet the need, and we're so proud to be able to do that. So in a minute, Kathy, can you just give us a vision of the future of the Mortgage Center? Oh, sure. That people understand, both people on campus and off, understand that the Mortgage Center is a resource for everybody, and we are a great convener and connector. And so people can come to us with an idea about public service or question about public service, and we can put them, you know, in the right place or connect them with the right people. And that also people continually look to us as a beacon of hope and as a symbol of the great things that the University of Wisconsin-Madison stands for. Um, congratulations on this book. It's terrific. And congratulations on a 20-year project. That's Thank spectacular, you. Mary. Thank you. We're going to come back and wrap up for the record right after this. My thanks to Kathy Kramer and Mary Rouse, two special people. We'll see you next Sunday on For the Record.